Hey friends, let's talk about digital planning productivity, specifically using GoodNotes. There are so many tips and tricks I've learned throughout my journey with digital planning, and of course, I have to share them with you. If you're new to digital planning and are wondering if you made the right choice, the answer is yes. Planning using a digital planner can up your productivity game in a way that paper planning could never. Let me show you why. In this video, I will be showing you my top five GoodNotes hacks that will change your productivity game. So let's get started. So I will start off by showing you split screen. So you click on these three little buttons up here and you will want to click on split view. And then once you do that, you will be taken over to your home screen and you can open an app, whichever app you choose. I chose my photo album. You can also click the three dots at the very top. Hold it down and drag it inside of your GoodNotes app, and that way you have a small screen inside. And I love doing this so that I can add little graphics inside of my planner. This is really cool for when you save images or just use your photos. So I love creating my own graphics, and then I love adding them onto my planner. And I also like to use them to just decorate it and make it look more fun. And you can also save images from Pinterest and add them into your planner as well. So then once you want to close it, you'll just click on the three dots and hit close. So next is searching notes. I really love this feature because it makes it really easy to be able to search throughout your notes. So for example here, I'm searching for the word a month throughout my notes and throughout my planner. And this will give me all of the sections where I have the word month. As you can see, you can easily tap on it and then you can be directed to that page. It's a really easy way to look through your planner if you're looking for a specific date or for a specific event that you wrote down. Anything like that, you can easily find it. You can also click on these arrows down at the bottom to search for your notes. Next is collaboration. All you do is click on the share button and turn on share link to collaborate. This will give you a link that you can send someone else so they can plan along with you. Collaboration is a feature that I definitely plan on using more often. This can be great if you want to share your planner with your significant other to plan out your months or even to keep up with your finances. The collaboration feature is also great to use if you have a business planner, recipe book, or even a memory keeping journal. Okay, so next tip is making your own stickers in GoodNotes. I really love this because it's so simple. You can use your shapes tool, your highlighter tool, or even your pen tool, your text tool, really any tool, and turn these into an element. It's really easy and makes things super simple for you to be able to recreate your stickers and add them to any portion of your planner or journal you'd like to use. And you can also edit them using your different colors. So for example, here I'm going to recreate my bill sticker. Um, so I just draw a rectangle using my pen tool. And from here I will click on the text tool and change my font. I like to choose my personal font that I actually made, my Creatively Claudia font, which is actually free on my freebie library if you'd like to have it. Um, it's a super minimalistic font and I really, really like it. So from here, I just change my font size so that it looks a lot better inside of my rectangle. I move it around to fit in the correct position that I want it in. And then next, I will write in the amount. So I will write that out and it will turn into the font. Isn't that amazing? So from here, I will just change my font size into what I personally prefer it to be. And it's also super simple to just change that around. And then once I am done with that, I will draw the little line that I have on my other stickers. And I just use the shapes tool for that and change the line size. And then from here, I just draw a little square so that I can put in a check mark once that bill has been paid. So that's how simple it is to create a little sticker. So from here, I click on the lasso tool and I simply just circle it or rectangle it and I click inside and I will click add element and from here I can add my element either as a new sticker or I can put it into one of my other collections which I just did so that is how I added this sticker into my elements feature and then from here I can also change the color by lassoing it and pick
picking color and then changing it to whatever color I like and I can add this element into my category that I just have for my bills. So from here I just add element and then click on the category I had already made and you can go back and see here that I have all three of my new stickers. Now you can create any stickers you'd like and add them to your elements for your planners. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to turn your writing into text. So you already saw a little snippet of this, but I want to show you step by step how to do this. So the first thing you will want to do is go to your settings. And then once you are in settings, there will be an Apple Pencil section. So you'll scroll down a little bit and click on Apple Pencil. And then from here, you want to make sure that your scribble is turned on. So turn that on. And then once it's on, you can go back to your planner and then choose the text feature. From here, you can choose any font that you'd like your writing to be turned into. So I always like to pick my personal font for my planner and then you can change your size and your color right here. After that's done, you can save it as your default, which means it will default to that specific setting every single time you write. So now I want to write in my bill name. So I will just tap on the screen and start writing out my bill name so this one specifically is for my car note and then I will move it over so that it fits right on the line and then from here I just want to change the um, color and the font size so I can do that easily and quickly and then from here I just want to move it again once more and there you have it that's how you can turn your writing into text <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to show you a bonus productivity hack, and this is voice recording. So you just want to make sure you give access to GoodNotes for your microphone. And from here, you will just click on the little voice recording button. GoodNotes has just released this feature, and it comes in super handy. This is great if you use a daily journal or if you use the collaboration feature to send voice memos back and forth. I'm sure this will be a very popular feature, but there you have it. These are my five good notes hacks that will change your productivity game. I hope you enjoyed.